Welcome to the very, very last episode of the Mambulance series. That's because the Mambulance is on its way to California with this new owner. And William has, yes, bought another ambulance for the next build. Before we get started on the new build, let's do a cost analysis on the last build and see if it makes any sense to build another one. How much money did we spend on this thing? Before we get started, make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss anything and you don't miss all the great action coming with the new build. First things first, the ambulance came in at $15,500 for the ambulance itself. Next on the list, headlights. We swapped out the headlights, $101.94. Pretty cheap price to make it look a little bit nicer. This was a big one. The Raptor liner paint was over $1,000 for all the Raptor liner and all the prep work. The mirrors, $152.99. Speakers, $31.95. Vent covers, $28. Vent covers for the fridge, $14.59 for those. $52.99 for all the rear taillights, $22.99 for the filler cap, and $69.95 for the valve sprayer combo setup, which was really pretty awesome. Light bar was $51.99. The cover for the AC was $32. They actually make one with the trap door for the fan that might be a little bit better than this. Uh, the mini split unit inside and out was $800 for both sections of it. The batteries came in at $2,937. The distributor was $206.55. The MultiPlus was $1,284.35. And the 30 amp breaker setup was $189.95 for that. The MPP solar charge controller came in at $589.05. The smart charger came in at $196.35. 15 gallon recirculating water tank was $110.86. The pump for that was $74.99. The filter baskets were $100.92. The 42 gallon tank was $143.99. The pump in this setup in here was also $74.99. And the filter basket by itself can be between $30 and $52 for one of those. The water heater came in at $149.99. All the plywood in this build was around $350. The teak ceiling, brace yourself, $5,071. So get out your pocketbook if you want to do that in your next build. The max air vent fan was $246.74. The sink was $147.99. The faucet was $53.97. The stove was $109.99. The cabinets came in at $1,250. And the butcher block was reasonable at $125. The Iceco fridge freezer combo came in at $800. And the electronics were kind of lowballed at $130. It's probably closer to $500, if not more, for all the ins and outs. The epoxy shower panels for all the parts and materials were $600. The shower valve itself was $169.48. And the wrap on green toilet is $850. And actually they're going for over $1,000 now if you're trying to find one. They're a little hard to find that cheap. Whoa, I put that pointer in the wrong spot there. Uh, the uh, shower door came in at $277. The cushions and covers all came in at $600. And the knickknacks, brace yourself, $18,000. No, I'm just joking. It didn't really come in for that much money. The mattress wench hardware came in around $400. It's probably a little bit more than that. All the miscellaneous parts, we estimated around $2,600. The satisfaction that William got from this build is far greater than all the materials and time that he put into it. This wasn't a project that he set out to turn around and sell. We just started joking about it. And you know what? He ended up selling the thing. The grand total came in at $22,529.15. So William didn't set out to build this to turn around and sell it. He actually set out to build it because he has a passion for the hobby and he really wanted to challenge himself and he definitely got a challenge by building this ambulance. So the next build, William says he's definitely keeping. We'll see about that. William's excited to move on to the next project because it's going to be even bigger and badder and crazier than this one. So go figure. Make sure you don't miss it. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you're not missing anything. There's lots of great stuff coming with the new build. It's going to be pretty bonkers. So uh, make sure you click the button with the bell thing so that you're getting all the notifications with it. And um, we'll catch you on the next episode.